So now we're on the very last corner of the quilt. It is the bottom right corner. And we're using the English paper piecing kits. And we uh, had it, it's been adjusted for hexagons so that you don't have to worry about placing the footballs. So we have pieces here. This is the background piece um, all ready to go. So that we also have hexagons over here. So the hexagons we got, I've, I've chosen to do one uh, with the background fabric and then six around. You can do all seven of the same color. You can do each one different. Whatever you want to do is fine. Um, for basting on these, I always do every other one. So if I base this one down and then this one and then this one, and then I'll go around and do the other three. I don't like the effect of the spiral, like one, two, three, because it creates like little divots from here and there. I like to do like base this one and then base this one and then this one. So then you've got three and then I do the other three once those are down. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is baste my background edges so I have a nice flat canvas. And then I'm going to assemble my hexagons into the flower before I get to attach it to my corner. So I basted all of my hexagons. And now I'm going to assemble them. I'm going to assemble them into a group of three, and then I'll add them uh, one at a time going around. So I assembled my three, and then I added one, and then another, and then another, and then I'm on my last one now. So I'm going to go ahead and just slot that in and, and uh, stitch that together, and that will finish up my flower. So I've assembled my hexagons into my flower and it's striped so I made it all go the same way although I could have radiated it or whatever. Anyway, so then I've also basted my background. So the next thing to do would be placement. What I'm going to do, and you can do what you'd like to do, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a faint line between this point and this point and another one between this point and this point and I'm going to center this line, this, these two seams on this line here, and I'm going to bisect these hexagons on this line here. So let me get the lines drawn and we can get that lined up and then we can staple it down. So I've centered my flower. I drew a line from this point to this point, a very faint line, and then I lined up these seams on it and stapled it down. And then this I drew a line from here to here, and I well, I, not the whole way. I just kind of lined up the uh, the ruler and drew it like from here to here, but um, and I lined that up in the center of these hexagons. So and then I stapled it down, and so now I'm going to applique this down so I can take the staples out. So I've appliqued my hexagon flower onto the background. And now my bottom right corner is complete and so is every block of the quilt. All that's left is assembly.